So this project uh, started in June and we finished it in November. Uh, unfortunately for us, the water was discovered quite far away from the school, about one kilometer away. So after sinking the borehole, we had to um, construct a little house around it in order to make it safe so that uh, people and animals will not destroy it. After constructing the small house around, we had to then build a tank around it so that the water will be pumped onto the tank before transferred to the school, um, which is about also 300 uh, uh, meters away. We had to now put a fence and erect some taps there so that um, the school children can enter into the fence and fetch the water. And when they close, we lock it so that it's not open to everybody. Um, the beneficiaries of this project are many. Uh, it is for the St. Anne's cluster of schools that has a population of about 850 children, about 48 teaching staff. All these people use the water. Before then, we used to cross the road to various houses to drink water, which was very dangerous for us. We are very happy that we have this mechanized borehole here. The mechanized borehole helped with the students a lot. We use the water for the COVID-19 protocols. The children use the water to wash their hands with soap and running water. And they also help us, the teachers, to take care of the KG children. Some of the students come to school to urinate in their bodies. And even some people in their school uniforms, which we use the water to clean them before the parents will come for them after closing. We bought water from uh, lorries, and then when they bring them, it's so dirty. The children, when they want water to drink, they will not get. So first we were suffering for the water, but now we, ha we had borehole. So because of the borehole, we are happy. The children are happy. So we used to fetch the bowl, cook for them. And then when the children want water to drink, they will go there and drink. So now we are happy for that. This bowl also helped to improve the admission, the enrollment. People are now rushing. Look at from here to town. People will leave schools there and be coming to my school. In fact, the, the school is getting full. And because of the borehole, they say they know that they will get access to water. They will get water. And because of the water, the enrollment is increasing. And if the enrollment is increasing, it means what they gave us is also helping us to get more students. So parents want to bring, they're always important to bring their students to this school. Uh, initially, we also intended to serve the community around. But unfortunately, uh, from the water table, it's not so much. So the community people are able are only able to get the water when school is not in session. But when school is in session, the water is not enough to serve both community and school. So in in in, 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 in a nutshell, that is what the project is doing. It's quite beneficial that if we could have an opportunity of getting a borehole separately for the community. Um, it wouldn't put much pressure on this one, so that uh, the school alone can be using this. Uh, I'd like to thank Diate uh, and uh, Verena for their intervention in this project. We are really very grateful. Um, the children are all grateful for this project, and uh, we'd like to thank Lions Club uh, in Germany for also coming in to help.
Ich muss sagen, wir sind wirklich dankbar, sehr, sehr dankbar. Wasser für uns hier ist wirklich ein Problem. So, so, so viel schwierig Wasser zu bekommen. Aber mit dem sind wir zufrieden.